hi i was surprised guy in today's video we are going to be recreating uh this logo you know i uh, encoder s7 actually your client ask you to our uh, producer uh, a t-shirt asking you to this use this logo and uh you were sent uh, a jpeg you know file which is not really it at all you know it's not uh, that sharp it's blurry so what you needed to do is to recreate you know uh, this logo you know with a uh, color draw so i want to show you how to recreate you know a jpeg logo and renew it to uh, a vector base you know a uh, file so without further ado let's step into it so right now what you're gonna be doing is to just you know create you know this you know a uh, thing first so let's go ahead to uh you know helps to click on that then draw a perfect circle that you know goes around the this uh you know image right here so what you need to, have to do now is to uh, drag in then when you get to the destination you right click after all of that you need to, to just you know select the two uh you know uh object that you created then you hold control key and keyboard then you tap on hell to combine you know automatically it combines it makes it you know one so before you go for that let's just apply color see how it is can you see that so let's hit control as uh, you know so right now what you're gonna be doing is to cut some part off so that you could uh, fit in into the shape that we have there go ahead to your you know arpeggio tool click right here then you hold control key uh, click right here then cut across that just like so just like that just like that just like that so we are cutting off uh this part finish it up right there then hold uh shift key and keyboard select the other object you know so as you selected the two objects together you know you're gonna have some options right here you know word color trim then intercept and all of that so what we needed is to trim automatically trim start part off so let's give it you know a uh, color orange good can you see that so right now what you're gonna be doing is go ahead uh, to your helps to again then try perfect circle to fit in into this uh guy right here so apply color set up light and none so after all of that you know punch your mouse at the tip of the you know how just just like so hold control key then flip to the other side when you get to that side you right click to copy paste bam can you see that so set it to the other you know guy right there then let's make it you know a uh, cyan so right now we are done with that so let's you know step on to this guy at the middle go ahead to your helps to create you know a circle that fit in into the space <coughs> so right now what you're gonna be doing is to just you know copy inward when you get your destination you right click there you have that then let's combine control L so what you're gonna be doing head over to your uh, what's it called rectangle two then draw an object on top of that or shift key select the other one then you trim delete this we don't need this anymore so apply green to that there we have that good set that light and now right click on that space so go ahead see your help to again draw a perfect circle that fit in into this guy then give it you know green center to the end. the bottom object there you have this good so right now for a quick you know uh you know creation so let's create the hardest you know and covers you know uh you know uh object right here we should throw it that then we go over uh, to the simplest one and do it you know uh, perfectly so right now go ahead draw a perfect circle with it's your head so just like so good to fit in 
Set it all up then. Go ahead to your ability to let's create that this arrow right here. Boom. 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 Click. Then finish it off right here. So go ahead to your shape to right click on the uh, this line. Convert to curve. Then pull it down. Likewise, the other right click convert to curve pull it down just like so good so right now let's keep that orange set our line to none then let's go ahead and create this you know uh boxes right here the subjects right here make it copy make it longer make it copy again good there you are so let's combine all of this Control L. Then let's go ahead and just make this, you know, uh, arrow a bit bigger. Then set it all up with the objects. Then hold Shift key select the objects. Go ahead and trim. Good. Delete this. We don't need this anymore. Hit Control K to break to break it into pieces. Then delete the bottom object style was cut off. There we have this. So right now, what you're gonna do is to make that white. Then you go ahead and make this a cyan. It's good. So set set our light to none. There we have that. Good. So right now, what you're gonna be doing is to just you know uh, go ahead and type all the typeables. So let's go ahead to. Uh, you know, just to let's type H good make it bigger so right now what you're gonna be doing is to set it all up with this so right now what you're gonna do is to board in the uh, test then you go ahead and set it all up with that good there we have that make it you know a real blue make it copy for what there you have this right there so right now what you're gonna be doing is to just go ahead and type this task tax service so right now we are going to change this fonts let's use Calibri that's not the font but we just uh, have to because of time so let's go ahead and use uh, Futura Set that, you know. I think I'm not uh, really pleased with that font. It has to be closer. No, no. Anyway, because of time, let's make use of that normal so let's position it well good so can you see that so let's go ahead and just uh, type the two then let's set that all up position it just like so good better still let's create this go ahead to your ellipse tool create perfect you know circle right there then make a copy inward so after all of this let's combine so what we're going to be doing now is to cut it all up just like so good or shift key select that Trim. Good. 
make it a uh, cyan so right now what you're going to do is to just uh, use your ship to double click right here to add a node then you pull it just like so good likewise this good so right now what you're going to be doing is to just right click on this line uh, took off then let's drag just like so good right click on this line to off click on to off then you pull these points just like so to fit with the lines zoom all up so double click double click then you double click right here double click go good can you see that double click double click just like so good good so right now what you're going to be doing is to do the perfect, you know, pull this angle just like so, then you pull this angle, good. So we are done with what we are creating. So right now let's just, you know, pull aside the JPEG one, just like so. There we have a perfect, you know, our logo right there can you see that so this is the glory logo that was sent to us then this is the perfect logo which we've uh, created so far so thank you for following me i don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far so as i always say my channel you know see you in the next video bye for now